Wait a minute. Ah! Metal scraps can be found in the ground. Try finding a place that seems suspicious. Nyaha! Squid Baron. Yo! You're here? I thought I destroyed you in the battle. Nah, you get over the explosions and screen clearing blast after a while. No perma harm done. But check this out. Have you seen all the Squid Baron fan art in this place? I'm some sort of global phenomenon. In fact, here. I had to take some artwork down to make more room for pics of me. But this is someone's artwork. Some person poured their heart and soul into this. Bah! Toss it! No way. I'm gonna go find it a good home. If you find all ten gallery keys, I'll give you something or another. Damn it, the squeaking of this chair is pissing me off. I want to, I got the restless leg and fire in my hands, <laughs> but I can't stop a squeaking. Um, gallery key. That is correct. Gallery key. Gallery key. It'll only be a minute, a second. Oh wow, okay. I would not have, uh, I wouldn't have guessed that. She, she looks so, like, uncomfortable uh, doing a flamethrower from her hands. Oh yeah, that is where I needed to go. I don't blame myself for forgetting that, okay? But we're gonna get that last gallery key. Don't you worry! It's like a double thing. You have to do double duty to get to the secret room. You have to know two ways of finding things. Oh no! I don't have the warp dance! Ah! All right, I'll tell you what. Um, fuck. All right, I know what I'm gonna do. I mean, I have the harpy. N no one can take away the harpy. The harpy is makes everything super easy. I'm just gonna use the harpy, get a bunch of gems because I still need money, and then um, I will trade back for the warp dance. The snake is in this level as well. Money, 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 Maybe this way is a little faster than the jug. I don't know. Maybe I should just keep replaying this portion of the level. Till I am fucking rich as balls. So basically what I gotta do is I gotta go back to the, the worm area. And then I gotta go all the way to the top of the worm area. Great, I know. And then... I have to, um, it has something to do with a block. I have to push a block into the correct place, and then I need to, um, use the block to use the elephant smash. So it's like a double thing. I'll get it. But it's near the top, is what it said, so. And I remember, I actually, I actually remember having trouble with this in my first playthrough, too. I also had to look it up, so. Hooray for me for not fucking progressing at all mentally in this game. Yeah, who knows, maybe by the time I'm done with this I'll, I'll just have enough to be able to buy everything I need without ever getting the, uh, the gem jug dance back again. 
these blocks. I need to move one of these blocks into a peculiar place that allows me to find a new entrance. No. It's alright guys, I'll get there. I can do this. I'm a smart boy. The smartest boy in the land. So I've been told by me. I'm so glad I sped up my dances. So that I got... It's, it's, it's all the way at the top. Damn it! Fucking snakes! It's gonna hit me again. No, I got lucky. I'm too slippery. Is this one? I think that's what they said. Is this one? Where? Which one? I don't think that's. Oh. Oh. Why am I not a harpy right now? That is a little advanced. I thought it was going to land right in place. Yep. Oh man, yeah, I remember this. Fuck. Alright. This is like a special... Um, okay. No, I don't want to go in there just yet. So this thing needs to connect to everything else. Fuck. I totally forgot how this needs to work. It's not that hard though. Because I mean there's only certain entrances and stuff. So, alright, this one has an entrance, and I can't I can't flip them. So this is an entrance on the right and left, right top, left bottom. This has uh alright, this looks like it connects to this one. Um, this one looks like it connects to that one, and that connects there. Okay, so, if I am to assume correctly, this block here, boom, then, uh, this one, okay, then this one, And then, last but not least, this one. Monkeys don't fit in holes that small. So, alright, this should work. And then I should be able to get all the way down, get the gallery key, and make it all the way back out. And then the last, absolute last thing for me to do is to give Abner that poster which will give me the fourth and final clue that I can then give to my uncle, find out all I need to know about Risky Boots and her deviousness, and then raid her fucking castle. All right. Good thing about this, I don't have to go back. I can just fucking whistle. Oh wait, didn't I want to switch to the warp dance? Mm. Uh, nah. I'm fine. I really don't think I'm going to need the warp dance for anything else, really. Um, so I have everything. Now I need to go to Hypno Baron's castle. It's all coming together. I have all the pieces! Now if I remember, getting to Poe's room really wasn't that hard last time, but I did it on accident. So, let's see if I could do it on accident again. I went here, 
And then I think I went like straight directly up. And then here. And then down this way, right? Yeah! Alright. Hey, you got one. Let me see that. This ain't at all what I expected. It's way better. Yeah, I'm digging this. Here. Is this a clue? Poe picked up that sorry looking squid poster at a nerd con. No backsies. Stay classy, Abner. Is this is this the fucking uh Wait, no. I, I probably have to give Squid Baron the poster and he'll give me the clue. Cause like why the fuck why the fuck would uh what's his face? Um why would my uncle know anything about a squid poster? That doesn't make any sense. All of the other clues were risky as items, so... Nerd con. No backsies. Keep the Squid Baron fan art coming. Hey, that squid poster you have looks epic! Give me that! Oh yes, I've got to have this laminated! Here, something for you in return! There we go. Looks like it broke off a size 7 fashionable leather boot that smelled great! Alright. I found all 10 gallery- oh, I gotta open them. Okay. Alright, let's look at all the fan art! Oh, so pretty! Bonus art. Bonus art. I love this one. It's fucking hot. Some risky boots. I'm just gonna do little snippets of each art. To show you guys everything. Because it's fucking awesome. And then I get something special. Ooh. These are all the rooms and all the levels. It's pretty cool. I wish there was a way to just, you know scan from one to the next. That's really cool. Little sketches. Mermaid Factory. Ammo Baron Ship. A bunch of the mechanical aspects of the game. What the treasure chests look like. Almost halfway there. All of the emotions and dances and, uh, like, walk cycles and shit for all the characters. It's pretty cool. Colored in. I love, uh, Roddy Tops as the race mechanic. I also love Shantae and her little nightie, because that's fucking hot to me. I don't know. More concept art with the rooms and the different, like, areas that Shantae is going to explore throughout. It's just a nice little trip down memory lane, you know. And, oh, yes. The Broken Mermaid Factory Falls. See, this is cool. This is, like, uh, more defined art. The Blobula, Blob Girl. All the different characters. This is all concept stuff. Uh, the last three rooms, I believe, are fan art. Uh, so that's going to be even better. Got to show that off. This is all this, the Tinker Slug, Mermaid, uh, the Worm, Wilbur. Just a bunch of different boss, you know, Hypno Baron and stuff like that. And now we get into the fan art. So so nice. So much of the fan art is so cute. Personally, I don't like the hyper realistic ones that make her look like a more huge like this one. Like I find this to be too realistic for me. I think personally, like I like the ones where she's got a cute little button nose and she looks like a, like a cartoon character, not like a real person. Twitch and vinegar. Yeah, see this this one doesn't do it for me. 
That's the Pirate King from the, the, first, the other game, the last game. These rooms are also bigger than the other rooms. By a, a fair amount. I'm not sure how they chose the fan art. I think it's by uh, like people who donated to the Kickstarter. So, that one is pretty cool. That one is very primitive, I think. I mean, obviously I'm no artist, so like the fact that all this art is in the game, that's beautiful to me. The fact that all this art is in the game to me is awesome. So I'm not here to judge anyone's art. I'm sure a lot of these came from kids too, like fans of the game who were kids. So, which which is awesome of the company as well to like include. Like, what the hell is this? What the hell is this, Jesse G? <laughs> Joe Haley wanted Shantae to be a, a a shredder, a '90s kid. Dark Shantae, Succubus Shantae, that's pretty cute. Tinker Bats. Rep to go. Alright, last room. Glad this didn't take that long. Hope you guys aren't annoyed that I went through all this. Don't know what the hell that's for. That's nice. I love that. That's 3D, that's pretty cool. That's different. Uh, the art style kind of reminds me of Wind Waker a little bit. This is adorable. That's kind of in between realistic. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to be. Shantae kicking Bolo in the face. I love silhouette art. That's fucking hot. That's cute. Oh my goodness! Oh, she's a Japanese schoolgirl. I love her. 8-bit or 16-bit. And then we've got the three buddies. Uh, yeah. Age 24. What? What? <laughs> Age 24! And then we have this. All right, I've opened all of the gallery doors. What do you got for me, Mayor Scuttlebutt? Before I go off and face risky boots. Here you go, some tacky costume jewelry as a thank you for your job well done. Magical tiara, I'm pretty sure. What does that do? Let me see. I'm pretty sure it gives me more magic. Or like, let me see. Hold on. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it, like, doesn't use any magic. Yeah, so now I have unlimited magic without having to go into the bathhouse, which is awesome. Alright, Uncle, I have all of the remaining pieces. Let me just save. 